Look at this. It's a mess. Look at this. Boat's getting full of leaves and pieces of bark from the tree. I am not a tree hater by any means, and I actually love this mango tree. Look at this thing. It's huge. And in the spring, summer, produces tons of fruit, and it's absolutely amazing. And it provides really good shade to where I put the boat, and this is where the only place we have in the yard to put the boat. So uh, the shade is awesome, but the downside is I'm already noticing we're getting a lot of leaves and just like little, you know, like bark stuff and the tannins and can like leach out and kind of stain. You can already see it get a little bit of staining here. I'll have to wash that off. Um, so we got to get this boat some protection and ideally I'd like to do it as easily and cheaply as possible so that when we want to go sailing, it's easy to just take it off and it's not like a whole big production. Normally a boat would have some type of like cover framing. Like my dad has like a 31 foot Pacific Sea Craft and he has to like put this wood frame up every winter and then put the cover over it. But with the hinge mast, it's kind of like pre-framed. We've got the mast there sitting in the gallows and it's it always sits in that position. So I kind of think we could get away with just getting some kind of tarp and just sort of like make a little basic tent that ties to the trailer. So that's the idea. Let's um, get some measurements. About 16 feet from the front of the mast to the boom gallows. I think about 12 feet more or less does the trick to get up and over the uh, up and over the mast and get to kind of either side of the rail. So I've got my measurements 12 by 16. I'm just scrolling the internet here looking for different different options. Um, I want a canvas tarp. I don't want a plastic one. Uh, I've used plastic tarps in the past and they just don't, they don't last long. And then when they, when they finally go, it's like apocalyptic. There's like a bajillion little pieces of blue tarp everywhere. So I don't want to, I don't want that. I want to be polluting like that. Um, so I want like canvas, really nice, like heavyweight, um, ideally a cool color. Just looking here. Oh, you may have also noticed um, in today's video, I'm ro rocking the water lust um, shark ID tea. Take a look at that. We got 12 different species represented here and uh, it's a really cool shirt. It's printed uh, with algae ink. It's actually a carbon negative type of ink that's derived from spirulina. So you're actually doing some carbon sequestration in the printing of the shirt, which I think is just super cool. Uh, made out of ring spun organic cotton. We source it in California. Just a really cool shirt. Helps you earn some good karma points with uh, the man in the gray suit, which I think all of us that spend a lot of time in the water can't get enough karma um, with them. And they need advocacy. You know, sharks are one of the most vilified animals on the planet and uh, their populations need support and advocacy. So I think I can put them in the link below. YouTube has like a fun new shop feature. So I'll drop those below. And I think I might have a leader here. This one looks pretty good. And I think I might pull the trigger. There it is. Check this thing out. White Duck Premium Heavy Duty Canvas Tarp. Pretty excited about this. Um, you can find them on Amazon, but I also, I went to their website and their company is super cool. I think they're based in Utah, I think. And what really jumped out at me is first, the sizing. So if you check out their website, they have like a jillion different sized tarps and they're all, they make them out of this 18 ounce, super heavy duty canvas reinforced with grommets. It's like bomber proof looking tarps. So I'm pretty excited about this. And the company itself, White Duck, they do all sorts of like camping stuff. They have some awesome advocacy for, you know, getting outdoors and protecting nature. And I just love the vibe of the, uh, of the brand. So I always get excited to find like other companies trying to help out making good products and also helping out. So check them out, White, White Duck. And uh, I'll put a link to the tarp that we're trying here. It's not like an affiliate link or anything. It's just what, what I got. And uh, just check it out. And then, you know, I'll let you know throughout this video and uh, in future videos, how this thing's holding up. So let's get it up. Also in the mail today is our membership information to the Catboat Association. And if you didn't know, there is something called the Catboat Association. It's like, I guess a club for cat boaters. And 
I just think that's pretty rad that there's an organization for people that love these types of boats. And I thought, okay, if we have, we're getting one of these boats, we've got to join the cat boat club. So um, I went online, I joined and like within a week, they sent me this book, which is cool. It has a, a list of all the members, everyone's name, the name of their boat and contact info. So like if you're sailing along and you see another cat boat, you see the name, the name of the boat, break out your trusty book here and you can find out who it is and make a connection and form a friendship. And I just, I think that's such a cool part of this, this kind of category of boat. And it's one of the main reasons I'm interested in it is that like you get one and you kind of become sort of part of this club, which I think is super cool. They also sent, have the Capital Association Bulletin, which has like different articles and tips and photos and stuff. So just super awesome. Um, thank you guys to the Capital Association for sending this out so fast. And uh, let's get this tarp up. It is such a satisfying process when you get a piece of equipment and it lines up exactly the way that you want it to. So I mean, this tarp, it's just sick. It's really, I mean, really, really well made. It's super beefy. It's like got that really nice thickness to it. And the dimensions just fit perfectly on the top of the mast. So I'm just kind of making sure it is evened out so that's balanced. So I'm just trying to make sure it's like centered. So there's just the same amount draping on either side. And now I'm gonna get some rope and we will attach it to the trailer. We've got our trusty Leatherman, some spare rope I found laying around the office and a lighter to burn the ends to make it nice and clean so the uh, cut rope doesn't fray. So I'm gonna walk you through sort of how I'm gonna do this. Pretty simple, got the rope. There's a grommet here and there's also this little webbing. I feel like I'm gonna go with the webbing. It sort of makes sense geometrically a little more to me. I'm just gonna go bowling right here. I'm gonna go halfway down to the trailer. I'm gonna do a, I call it just an overhand knot. Just take, make a loop like this and tie it around itself. And I find these knots are really good for little purchases. They're pretty easy to take out. They're simple to make. And I think my logic for going halfway down to the trailer is just so when I'm putting the, tra the, the cover on, I can have sort of a ballpark to go halfway. So, so if the cover is like too far to one side, the knot will be really close. And this will give me a little bit more flexibility. I'm gonna come down to the trailer and then up to this little purchase and then give myself a little bit extra Cut. Watt gun would make this a lot easier. I don't have one, but now I'm gonna come, come up to my purchase and then I can give it a little, a little tightness. I'm not gonna pull it too tight because it's not tied on the other side, but then I can just come and do a, a single half hitch and I'm, I'm done. All right, so one down, like 30 more to go. go the cover is on fits like a glove i didn't end up putting rope on every single one because it just seemed sort of overkill and i want to make this really easy to get on and off but if uh, i'll keep an eye on it and if i feel like we need a little bit extra security we can add those but it, it seems fine for now overall really stoked with this it just what you can't really tell in video is sort of the the thickness and the durability and just like the quality of like the stitching it's just it's very well made so um, the white duck folks, a job well done. Keep you posted on how this, how this is doing, but it's pretty sweet. It's nice layout and good airflow in from the bow there um, all the way back. So I, I don't, I think this is gonna be a really ideal solution for keeping debris and uh, you know, leaves and gunk out of here. So let me know what you think. Um, would you do it differently? Do you think I, this is a good solution? Curious, leave your, your thoughts in the comments below. I think in the next episode, we're gonna 
get this puppy out in the water and show you uh, what it's all about. So stay tuned.